everybody. Welcome back to the Friday Front Bar here at the All Nations Hotel. Thanks to Brewery Fresh Carlton Draft. Don't be confused. It's a Thursday, but the buys are over this week. Thank goodness to that. But Sam. we're filming it on a and Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Next Monday. Yeah, cool so yeah. we're all making predictions. This is kind of like our halfway mark of the season. We're just taking a little breather here yeah. to just assess what's been and gone and what's to come next. And been a hell of a start to the year. It's been a great, so it's been a great year and a great season so far. We're already halfway here and every week I get to catch up with you boys and mm -hmm. it's great. I just wanted to give you a little warning. Mm -hmm. We're halfway through the season. I'm running out of shirts. <laughs> hey, it was either, I went to the wardrobe today, it was either this or a t-shirt with It's Time on it from 1972. <laughs> I'm out. I right, did I just say something? I thought you were another one of Hawthorne's new away strips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've really gone too far this time. Not many could get away with this, by the way. I reckon yeah. the It's Time t-shirt would have been an improvement. But anyway, that's uh, <laughs> been a hell of a year. Uh, for mine, the highlight of 2015 what? has been fan engagement. Oh, okay. They brought this in. This was a specific development this year by the AFL, and a good one. Port yes. Adelaide set the scene last set year. Them all in yeah. excess with something off the new album. Geelong's gone. <laughs> Geelong's gone with it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Unbelievable. unbelievable. Oh, the trumpeter. Yes, that's right. Yeah. There's now an assistant coach. <laughs> oh, I think if there's a winner so far, it has to be the hovercraft, which has uh, more than pulled its weight. Who would have thought that the hovercraft would have outlasted Nick Mulhouse and Chris Jones? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't not. believe that. Oh, that, is de that is devastating when you think about it, by the way. That we started with Mulhouse and Judd and we finished with Liam Jones and Captain Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> that's your highlights, and it's been, uh, been the, the fan engagement has been a success. It has, it's been great. I just wanted to, my highlight so far has been something that you pointed out, Mickey, but it was just, it's only happened twice before. A man played 400, yeah, his yeah. 400th Good point. game. Good point. Dustin Fletcher played his 400th game. Mm. And Mickey, you pointed this out at the time, that when, when you, you know the great tradition of going through with your kids, it is a lot cuter if your kids are under 25. <laughs> <laughs> and there should be a rule, by the way, that if you are going to take your kids through a banner, you should have to hold them. <laughs> <laughs> 400 games, we, no, we he, may never see he, until... Boomer Harvey does it next year. <laughs> Can I, my highlight to date, and I know I've been preoccupied with this, and it uh, fills a lot of my thoughts throughout the day, mm. is Juddie's man cave. And we've Fair seen point. it in Fair action. Point. When I first saw it, I thought, this is brilliant. Mm. Um, and I'm sure that's where he spends his time now. Sightings of him are rare. There are his original shoulders. I that's right. That's and and then... uh, we wonder what goes on in there. I wonder if there's a no man bun rule. <laughs> <laughs> is he sitting in there right now? Is that where the going to choose the next coach? Is he going to have a Willy Wonka style tour that, <laughs> that I can put my hand up for? Imagine that. You'd go in and the, all the Oompa Loompas would be dressed up like Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how much fun could you have with the golden ticket to Chuddy's man cave? Brownlow medal. She's done a dust in the Brownlow medal, let's be honest. I mean, Nat Fife's home in Hose, but You say Brown... that. You say that. But if, you, if I gave you the choice of Nat Fife or the field, what would you do? No, Nat Fife, he he's unbeatable. He, I mean, unless he gets reported between now and the end of the year, he's not right. going to lose Oh, so enough. then the field would win. The field would win. <laughs> but it's a night where uh, players have made fashion statements over the journey. It's, it's renowned for it. Is Nat Fife's fashion statement around the not going to be this? Well, he's like, he, it's come to the point now he's like Samson, you know what I mean? If he cut off his hair, he'd probably lose his strength. If the uh, AFL introduces hair testing, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> his hair's off its chops. Let's assume that <laughs> his, his, his hair is... His hair, his, his hair will, will poll more votes than many players this year. But I reckon um, if he does stay, let's assume he does stay yes. with the hair, that's fine. There's a hit, the hair and the Brownlow have a great history oh, going back, they, going oh, back over they. the ages. If you, uh, if you yeah. have a look at, say, Especially Graham great Moss. Great hairstyles throughout the ages. Graham yeah, T-Styles. Graham T-Styles yeah. style. hair is made out of the same uh, material as, he, as his suit. <laughs> and his suit, which, which now hangs in Andy's cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Blighty. What insurance company was Blighty working for? <laughs> <laughs> Ross Van Denning with a tight <laughs> gentleman's perm. <laughs> uh, that's a looser perm. <laughs> <laughs> Things got a lot looser here. Yeah, I know. Look at those two. So, uh, you know, good luck, Matt Fife, if you decide, if you do win the Brownlow, because you will join uh, that pantheon of great winners yeah. in there. Grand finalists, who's, who's going to get there? Who will be playing off in the last Saturday in September, boys? It is in September. I think it's in October. <laughs> it's, is it actually in October this year? That's a great start. That sums yeah. up our show. Yeah. We've yeah. got no yeah. idea yeah. when the grand yeah. final is on. Uh, I, hope, I hope it's not Essendon because Hurdy will be an October fest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he, he doesn't like to hang around these days. <laughs>
got to spin. If it doesn't tap uh, out, uh, hang, uh, hang on. If uh, it doesn't spin, you've got to get the spin properly. It's got to be yeah. a pure torp or it doesn't count, all right? Yeah. I'll go first. Don't pull a hammy. Oh! Cut. Cut. Woof. Oh, not bad. I'm taking a bounce. On the run. My line. No. <laughs> That's gone at least 25. They actually kick, they kick torps further than that in Auskick. None Did of that us... bring back memories though? When we were a kid and you were oh, out the hit. front of the street and somebody was like, car! car! And you just all have to get off? Of course, we're kicking those torps because of the Carlton Draft barrel time, which is the search for footy's biggest kick of the torpedo in 2015. Great initiative by Carlton Draft, of course. Sure is. And I've got to say, we're sitting on one of the greatest highlights uh, in the history of any game in the world, the which, which is yes. the torp. Oh, and the, I want to see, there's no greater sight yeah, in the rapids. world yep, yep. Than, a, than a barrel going berserk and the crowd as one going whooshka. You really feel passionately oh, about this. I am, this, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a dead set highlight. Well, we've seen highlights, of course, Friday night here. It is the Carlton Draft barrel time. And uh, we're competing here for a US punting experience. The number one exponent of the Torp is going to win a US punting experience. Five grand for them, five grand for their club. It's on Friday night. It's going to be back this week. Hawthorne taking on Collingwood. Fortunately, every now and again, I reckon we've seen a few more this no, year. I reckon we have, you know, times. the Carlton games I've been at. Tommy Bell is a very good uh, Zach proponent. Zach Cooey, mate. But Tommy Bell, though, kicking a, a torp is unbelievable. Of course, he's trying to kick a drop punt, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, uh, when he gets onto them, they fly. Well, a couple of guys down at Geelong call in the game a couple of weeks ago when Geelong played Mel. This is my the most pure torp of 2015's Lyndon Dunn. He struck that almost on the logo. Bang. It was a magnificent kick, almost onto the logo and centre wing. It was, well, a and that is a long grab down at Canadian. Park. Okay, that's great to see. You're putting it up there with some of the best of all time. Well, mate, this is right. against our team, Andy, but it's still the greatest kick I've ever seen in my life. Have you ever been out onto the, the ground and had seen, seen how far it was? It, it, I have, and it's a long way. Lighty just oh, decides man. to do and the camera. Look, look at that, that. Camera coverage of that. I love it. That's that going at ninety metres. Oh, hi. Jeff Ferring, of course. This is probably the biggest that... Again, this was too big and too fast. We lost this in the <laughs> That is behind the centre Have a look where that... I mean, there was a bit of a oh, bruise, but that's ridiculous. Doesn't isn't matter, it, Isn't mate. it great to see uh, St Kilda great uh, Jezza in the, in the uh, square <laughs> there too? <laughs> Peter <laughs> Dacos, he loved him. Kick a talk, Off mate. one or two steps. Yeah, yeah he was a pure that strong a monster. Well, now have a look at the lead-up play here from Jeff Farmer. So he's still running, so he's obviously puffed when he does it. He's on the run. Well, Sam, you're the best Perky player. Still. Talk us about the degree of difficulty of kicking this on the run. Have a look at this. Nah, yeah, pretty easy. God. <laughs> no, that, Jeff Farmer, you for, tell you, you forget. Yeah, I'd almost forgotten that goal. It's been a while since I've seen it. And that was amazing. For him to start on the halfback flank and run the almost, yeah, length of the ground and yeah. then kick a barrel. Let's get it back. Let's make it part of the game. But in the meantime, get it to barrel time. And can, can we get a celebrity barrel time? What a great idea. Would you be part of it? I will take you on... You did your neck, though. You, you, you've got so much head action in your kicking. Is your neck I will, okay? I will take on Grant Denyer. <laughs> <laughs> in a head to your head, last man standing. It wouldn't be right of this uh, while we're discussing sort of the mid-year review of the season, not to look at the mark of the year. I mean, Nick, Nick, Nick he's got it. I, 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 I can't really? see a better mark on the horizon than that. I hope I'm wrong, but that has everything you are looking for. He's got it stitched up, and he was one of the talking points a bit earlier on in the year on uh, a Friday front bar. One of the stories of the year has been the re-emergence of Nick Natanui. He's got the groin sorted out. Plus, an, a local artist by the name of Jerome D has been commissioned to paint him in the Archibald. I'll put to you, this is just a stunt. That's not a photograph. That's that for amazing? the Archibald, is it? It is for the Archibald, yeah. I sat for an artist for the Archibald. Oh, once. did yeah. you really? Yeah, it was a courtroom artist. <laughs> 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 he was in the Supreme Court, but he really got my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you think about footy and art, though? Yes. It, for, for me, there's only one name. Wegg. Of course, oh, yes. Yeah. Great web. Yeah, who, who, drew, who drew premiership posters and caricatures for mm, sure 50 did. years. Mm, yeah. you know, we've all got a web hanging oh, out. Everybody, there. everyone. And I'll tell you what, you know, about 10 years ago, he was, uh, he's passed away now, but 10 years ago, he was burgled, right? He, he came home and he yes. caught the guy, and the guy just brushed past, and there's no, no problem, but he brushed past. The, he called the police, police came to his house, and they reported it, and he said, uh, he goes, you know, I, I caught a glimpse of the bloke if you wanted me to, you know, draw him, right? Yeah, yeah. And the police goes, Oh yeah, no worries, old man. Yeah, you can draw your little uh, stick figures or whatever, right? So we drew drew this burglar, right? Gives it to the cops. Cops go and they have a look around the area for 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 the guy. About fifteen minutes or thirty minutes later, they they grab a bloke on an unrelated crime. They put him in the van, 
and then they put him in the van, and they look at the at the sketch that Weg has drawn, and they look at the guy, and it is a dead <laughs> ringer. It is a dead ringer, and Weg has absolutely nailed it, right? It and the cops, they felt pretty bad. They were a bit embarrassed, you know what I mean? It, but, but in their defence, right, I think they would have caught him a lot earlier, except Weg had drawn the burglar wearing footy boots and holding up a premiership <laughs> cup. <laughs> Well, we're back to a full round of games. It's fantastic Finally. to see nine games of footy ready to be played again, starting with Sydney Port on a Thursday night. That's it. Collingwood Hawthorne, how good a game is that going to be? They're playing for the Clinton Young Cup. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be great. That'd be a good game. Uh, uh, we'll we'll Sydney Port tonight. Well, that's uh, Port a shot, aren't they? They're not winning a flag this year. Let's be sure. honest, they've been beaten by Carlton. Uh, and obviously a whole lot of people will be grappling with their tips. There'll be people who are out of tipping comps all over the place and um, people who are right in the hunt and... Who they're going to tip is very, very important. And we have a very, very special guest joining us, who is our publican here at the All Nations Hotel, Bobby O'Kane. Bobby O'Kane, how are you, Bobby? Good boys, Well Thank done, you. great job that you do. Now, Thanks, uh, just out of interest, who's winning the tipping competition here at the All Nations Hotel? Funnily enough, I'm on top, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. Rort, Rort. 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 Only a rod if you're not in it. <laughs> Bobby, that's Bobby, unbelievable. Actually, There's been nothing to talk about front bar talk. This pub has been a lot with the possibilities. When do you put your tips in, Bobby? Mate, I, <clears throat> I listen to you blokes every week. I, I listen to all the lads over the bar give me advice and then I weigh it all up and pop my tips in on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's amazing about that? Two yeah. weeks ago, Bobby got four. <laughs> yeah, you right. won it before, Bobby? No, but Mum won it last year. <laughs> <laughs> Mum. Have you got a tip? Is there, have you got a secret, yeah. Bobby? Is there a formula that you swear by? Everyone's got their own stupid little formulas when it comes to footy tipping. Yeah, no, if you if you want to win the footy tipping, you've got to get a roughie or two. So yeah. that's not easy to do if you're putting them in on Friday. But it's OK. <laughs> Who's your roughie? Who's your roughie this week? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Six-day break for Hawthorne. Eight-day break for Collingwood. I think the pies will get up. Oh, I like oh, it, Bobby. I like okay. it a lot. Submitting like their lot. spot in the top. You know, you know what he's trying to do? Get everyone else to back Collingwood. So, <laughs> he, can, so he can back Hawthorne. <laughs> Bobby, as a publican of the All Nations, is that... Shirt fit to wear in a you front bar. You wouldn't kick me out for this, Bobby, would you? I wouldn't let you in. <laughs> you know, right. kicking out. It's not that sort of pub. It's, it's up there with this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. For worst front bar top ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's go. it. Hey, Bobby, You're a good man, Bobby. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for having us here. No it's worries, a joy mate. coming into the All Nations Hotel, which we do generally every th uh, Friday. We'll be back here next Thursday to do it all again with the Friday front bar. Thanks again to Brewery Fresh, Carlton Drive. Well done, Carlton Drive. <laughs>